Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is dino day as you guys can see. I'm at Power Fab Outer Sports. We're gonna get the dino in, see how much power it makes. The first time I was here with the car, I had the stock manifold and I was on E85. This time I'm with the Boss 382 Intec manifold and I'm also on E85. So we're gonna see how much power the Boss 302 manifold actually makes. So you guys, you know, can know if you want to get the boss or you're thinking of getting the CJ, you're going to know exactly how much the boss is going to make. Last time I was here, I had a 377 wheel horsepower and 371 uh, foot-pounds of torque. So, but last time, as you guys remember, I had an issue with the E85. So it was making my, uh, my engine tick. Actually, it was actually tripping off the knock sensor. So... I'm not sure why that uh, E85 did that. So I figured out the problem. I went to a different gas station. I went to Sonico. They had some better E85. Ever since then, my car does not uh, trip the knock sensor. So we're getting all the timing. So it's kind of an unfair comparison because the first time I was here, it had the knock. But uh, it doesn't matter, you know, as long as we fix that issue. So today we're just gonna find out how much exactly, how much power it makes with the Boss 382 manifold and the E85. So if you guys are ready, stay tuned for the video. They're getting strapped up right now. I'm just gonna show you the cars they have over here today, you know? I'm gonna try to get inside right now. Maybe they're done strapping it up and we can actually get to see the, the dyno. bunch of cars out here it's on some uh, skinny tires though I think 275s man I don't know how that works but uh anyway guys the car is strapped up we're ready to go one that's pretty cool man the cameras look actually look pretty good we have another ZL1 over there but the Mustang is gonna steal the show sorry about that so um, since last time the car got louder we got the cooks headers on there also I forgot to say that in the beginning so the Cook's headers and the Boss 302 manifold, we're going to see how much power those two added to the Mustang. Uh, I don't know guys, what do you guys think? Comment below what you guys think the power is going to make. And I can give you guys my guess right now, I think it's going to do maybe, four, maybe 420 or something, we'll see. But uh, this is super exciting. So just comment below guys what you guys think it's gonna make. Uh, if some of you guys haven't seen the car from last time, uh, I put it on the Boss 302 manifold. I did the Cook's headers. I don't know if you guys can see from there. But uh should be pretty exciting. We're getting ready right now, getting strapped up.
Yeah, I'm gonna get on the back. I gotta stay up front. I gotta stay up front this time? Can't be behind you. Oh, not like last time on the sides? Nah, right. the window get knocked out, so nobody, nobody can stand behind you. Alright, that's fine. hurt my ears <laughs> now that was a dino pool right there all right guys so uh, for the first pool it was in the wrong gear uh, we're gonna try to figure that out right now and see if uh, we can get that taken care of but uh, dino pool number two ready to go Alright guys, you guys saw that, 4 or 4, 369, uh, not what I was expecting but pretty good considering from the factory it comes with a 420 crank horsepower, so yeah, ready. Peak is at 5200 and the for the horse parts at 6500. So look at that, guys. Four or five. I'm pretty excited with that. Uh, pretty pretty decent power for the mods we've done. So we've done the headers, X pipe, uh, off road X pipe, Boss 382 manifold, JLT cold air intake. Uh, what else we've done? We got the ED5 and uh, we got the tune from Lund. So that's pretty that's pretty cool and this tune that I'm running today is the first the first revision uh, I wish I got my laptop so we can data log but I'll tell you guys why I did not do that in just a minute uh, when we when we're done over here I actually have some very very good news so I'll tell you guys more about that when we're done not bad for a 14 GT with a few bolt-ons Actually, I think I think now you guys can call it full boltons. I don't think I don't think there's anything else we can get. But uh, that was pretty fun. I gotta go inside now and pay for it, and then uh, I'll talk to you guys after after I'm done with that. Tell you guys uh, the plans for the channel and what what the future holds. All right, guys, we're back home from the shop. Four or five, three seventy one. I'm sure it's not what you guys were expecting. You guys are probably thinking that's low. It is what it is. That's how much power my car made, regardless. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about the future plans for the YouTube channel. So I have decided that I am not gonna continue uh, building up this Mustang. 
I am gonna buy a 2019 Mustang GT and build that one, make that one faster. Honestly, I think getting the 19 GT is a better idea than uh, building this one, keep going with this one. Um, I'm gonna make a separate video why I'm doing that, but you guys know that I, li I love this car very much. I like the looks and everything like that. But honestly, uh, I've started liking the 19s way more these uh, past couple months. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So starting next week, we're gonna be taking the car back to stock, putting everything back to stock. So that's gonna be a good video for you guys. Basically, it's kind of like a reverse of all the videos I've made. Uh, stay tuned for those videos guys, but thank you for watching this dyno video If you guys want to see more videos of the Mustang getting put back to stock and me getting a 19 GT Make sure to subscribe to the channel As always guys stay tuned for the next video. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace